All right, I am at 851 Post Oak Place in Providence Village. You are here on a semi cul-de-sac. I just wanted to show, look at all the green space in the square right in front. I think that's awesome because you do have garden style homes um, here, but you're right across the street from the playground, soccer fields, and then of course the grill and green space in the middle there, um, just because you are on 0.11 acres here. And then you have a really deep front porch here. So super cute with your neighbors. You walk in and it looks like an engineered wood-like type floor. The first room here is an office and you can tell it's got the higher ceilings, two windows up front with those trees and then a pretty nice size office space um, here. It's a 13 by 12. You can see you could easily turn in this little space right here into a standard size closet if you needed to to make it another uh, fourth bedroom. And then we walk into the kitchen. The kitchen has laminate countertops um, that have been painted. It's got a little bit of a backsplash, white cabinets. Also, um, it's got the can lighting there with a smooth top. Right off of there, you have a really nice size laundry room. It's pretty deep as well as a pantry that also has a window in it to bring in some natural light through the front porch. Then downstairs, you have a half bath. So this is just a powder bath. They've updated a cute little vanity there. It's like a mint green. I think that that's pretty cool. Little coat closet, linen closet better yet. And then you have a pretty nice size breakfast nook here. And the breakfast nook has a bench seat. You can see the AC unit looks like it's original. This house was built in 2002. You do have this nice little side yard on the side. You have a rear entry for the garage. But a really large, could be obviously a formal dining room for the breakfast nook. And then out here is a standard two car garage. You do have exterior, so you, you really kind of have two little yards here, which is nice. You don't see this very often in Providence Village. They've also painted out here the ceiling, put can lights. Looks like they utilized this as another area at one point. And then very nice, big family room. You could also do this as a family room. And then I've seen some people utilize this space here as a dining room as well. And the fireplace with some cute decorative tile around it. Um, and it looks like they were using it as wood burning. There's wood burning there. They also have the mount for the TV. And then you can see here in the backyard, the other side of the backyard, which I think is kind of cool. That is 380 that you can hear over there, but you at least have green space and have a little lake. So you have a smaller yard size, but keep in mind, really close by, you have the park across the street. A little bit of siding damage here. And then back here is some walk space, and I'll show you better from upstairs, uh, right there to the school. So more parks, and then of course the elementary school is a quick walk away. All right, we'll head upstairs where all of the bedrooms are upstairs. And this one too, um, 2,067 square feet, was built in 2002, listed at 270. There are multiple offers on this property. Just indicative of what the market is holding. Be a cool little view of upstairs. And then we have one bedroom here, the same flooring as throughout the house. Mounted TV. This one's a little thinner room, but on an angle and then deep. So kind of show you that. Balcony, we have here, your brother was taking a peek at it. The wood does look like it needs to be stained again. To give you a good overview of the neighborhood. Really cute little balcony, have some a bistro table up here, have coffee. This need a good clean, uh, the baseboards most particularly. 
as well as the balcony. Next up, we have another bedroom, bedroom number two. Slightly more shallow than the last bedroom. And this also has a view of the balcony. This I think would be a really cool area to put a desk um, for the kids to have a little workspace. Then you have the secondary bathroom. It's got those little four by four white tiles, cultured marble. They have painted the cabinets as well. And then a linen closet. And then the master bedroom has a double doors, nice corner unit here. It's got really pretty views of the back of the little culvert. Closet, pretty good size. And then the master bath. The grout that they utilized on this, or it's like they filled it in with a pen, um, you know, doesn't look very professionally done. So you probably want to touch some of that up. As you can see, water closet with some shelves there. Another storage closet for linens. And then this looks like they painted these cabinets that same mint green as downstairs. I know in the picture it looks kind of turquoise, but it's not. It's pretty light gray, green. All right, and that concludes the tour of 851 Post Oak Place.